Hello buddy, it's me Cloud. Welcome to a new video. Today I wanted to do my uh, PS4 collection uh, because we know the PS5 is coming out this year, holidays this year, and there's not really that many PS4 games I'm probably going to be buying. Maybe a handful, a uh, couple games here and there, maybe a couple digital games still. There's still a couple games that will be coming out, but hopefully I'll be putting my money into the PS5. Um, well, seeing on what really there is. Right now, at this current moment, I'm not going to be getting the console at launch, but I'll see. Maybe it will change by then. But yeah, so I'm going to be showing you my physical games, and I also have a handful of digital games, so I'll be showing those afterwards also. So yeah, let's start off with the games uh, that I own physically. Uh, so I actually have a, I actually have a, quite a bit more than I thought. I didn't get the console at launch. Uh, when did I get that? Uh, I got the PS4 in 2017. Uh, I think it was 2017. Yeah, it was 2017 when I got it. Late 2017, like November. <laughs> so yeah, first games first. Uh, it's just in a random mode or nothing particular. Uh, we got Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Is it 4? Yeah. I got this uh, from a friend. He won it at our Christmas party. So we were both at our Christmas party for work. Um, what's it called? Uh, he put in like one ticket to win this. He happened to win it. He sold it to me for $40. It literally came out that year. Like it came out like that November. So it was still a full priced game. Uh, I was like, oh sure, I'll give you, four I'll give you 40 bucks for this. Um, so yeah, I got this game. I played a little bit of Blackout. I really kind of just got it because... It was cheap, and I had a couple friends that played Call of Duty. Never really played it with them. Uh, we got Dying Light. Uh, I bought this because my brother was a big fan of this game. Uh, I never really got into it, to be honest. I got more into the Friday the 13th game, which I have digitally. That game's actually a lot of fun. Um, yeah, I never really got into this too much. I didn't really play it with my brother too much, because they were already at the point where... They've already been playing for a while, and I just started, and I'm like, I didn't really want to learn all this stuff, um, and kind of tag them down until I fully learned the mechanics of it, and I just didn't really want to have to play through this, like, play a lot of this game to just learn the mechanics to be able to get good, like, my brother and his friends. Um, very misleading, like, special edition. It literally says special edition on it, and it's just... The physical version. I'm guessing it's called Special Edition because it was originally just a digital game. Um, but yeah. That was a waste of 30 bucks, to be completely awesome, I think. Um, we got Fall Cry 4, the limited edition. What does this even come with? Uh, I don't really care. Um, it was a buy two, buy two for $10. Uh, I bought this and a game that will be coming up soon. Uh... <laughs> So the game that I bought, I bought uh, the other game was the one I really wanted. Uh, this was just kind of like an extra, because I thought this was Far Cry Five. <laughs> I know it says four on it. I completely forgot about this game because this game was kind of lackluster. I did not, I, I did not like this game too much. I, I remember playing it at my friend's house. He was a big Far Cry fan. I liked three. Then I played this game and I did not think anything of it. So I completely forgot about this game even existing. So when I saw it for five bucks, I'm like, oh yeah, like Far Cry 5. I keep hearing good things about that. As Far Cry 4. But in my head, I thought it was Far Cry 5. So yeah, I'm kind of disappointed about that. I'm never going to really touch this game. It would just sit in my collection and rot away. I wonder if the DLC codes were ever used. Oh, sweet. Yes. Play Assassin's Creed Unity. Yeah. Totally Ubisoft. I'm not a big fan of Ubisoft. I'm not, not Ubisoft. Actually, I like Ubisoft. Not a big fan of the uh, Assassin's Creed series, but I actually really want to play Valhalla. Uh, that looks pretty awesome. I really want to play the other ones. Um, Origins and um, Odyssey. Uh, those look like a lot of fun, actually. We got Dragon Ball Z Fighter Z. Uh, Dragon Ball Fighter Z. Dragon Ball Fighter Z. There we go. Um, actually, really fun fighting game. Uh... Difficult to, uh, difficult to learn what once you learn is a lot of fun. Um, I have most of the DLC characters. Uh, I've played this with my friend and my brother mainly. Uh, I've not played it as much as I really should have because it, I paid full price for it and I got it day one. Um, but it's it's been a lot of fun to play, actually. Uh, I am a big Dragon Ball Z fan. Behind me is my Dragon Ball Z collection. Uh, over there. My 
though, on my China cabinet now. Uh, but yeah, big Dragon Ball Z fan. I try to get most of the games. Um, except I don't have the Xenoverse games. I have them digitally because Xenoverse 2 was cheap as hell. I wasn't really interested with Xenoverse 2, to be honest. Uh, then we got Destiny 2. This game was a dollar, I'm pretty sure, sealed uh, from EB Games. Uh, it's actually... I don't have it installed on my PS4 anymore. I kind of want to reinstall it. Because I was actually having quite a amount of fun with uh, with my friend. I did not really like Destiny 1 too much. I got that one on the Xbox One. I didn't play too much of it. I didn't really like it. But this game, I played about maybe 5 or 6 hours with my friend. And I was actually pretty enjoying it. I was kind of just playing it to as a... It was like a a midway game type thing of, like, we were playing something else and we kind of wanted to take a slight break, and you're like, do you have Destiny 2? I'm like, yeah, I do. Let's play some. So, yeah. It was kind of like that. Um, if you've never really played it, it's, it's an MMO first-person shooter. Um, oh, here's a here's a shitty game that I wish I didn't pay. I didn't pay full price. I paid $30, $30 for this a week after it came out. I'm pretty sure it was. And then this thing came out. It was uh, 2018 or 2019. 2018. Um, I bought this in maybe January of 2019, so it was probably already out for maybe a couple months. Uh, yeah, I already I got it for 30 bucks. Uh, I kind of wish I didn't, because it went cheaper literally a month later. I think that you can get this game for pretty much nothing. Um, and then it turned out my friend bought a copy at Walmart for the same price as me, and it was like a steelbook edition, it was cool and stuff, and it had extra things, I'm like, oh, that's lame, I just have this, this one, uh, two, two friends of mine play this a lot, they're actually high leveled, uh, when I got the game, they were already pretty far ahead, I wasn't really liking it at all, they were actually quite, quite enjoying it, it, it didn't seem as terrible as everyone was saying, I've just never really been a huge follow-up fan, I've always liked the, um, the Elder Scrolls series a lot more, like, uh, you got your Mole Wins, your Oblivion, and your Skyrim, which is the one that everyone everyone likes. Uh, we got Life is Strange. I actually still haven't beaten this game. I do like these storybook games, like these, these games. They're kind of like just, uh, they're kind of like modern point-and-click adventure games, but with really crappy puzzles. Like, the puzzles are not as good as old point-and-click adventure games are. I I, would, I could describe this, I, to be honest, a, a lot of people have been saying, like, the walking simulators and stuff like that. I could easily see these as, like, these are modern point-and-click adventure games. But this one's story is actually really good. Uh, I just wasn't getting into it at the time, and then a friend of mine was telling me to get back into it, and I played maybe another episode, and I was getting into it. But there was just other games at the time. There's like so many, so many games come out, and some games like this get kind of overshadowed a little bit. Especially when I pay like ten dollars for this game, and then go out and pay eighty dollars for for a price new game. So the the ten dollar game will be put on a backlog faster than the eighty dollar game. So that's sadly how it is. Uh, now the game that came with my console, I got the Star Wars Battlefront Two uh, Special Edition console. Uh, because the reason why I bought a PS4 is because my brother really wanted to play Battlefront 2 with me. Uh, so I was like, okay, I'll get the PS4 Battlefront Edition. So I got it. Quite fun, actually. Uh, a lot of people hate it on this right away because of the microtransactions, stuff like that. Just don't pay for the microtransactions. I, I don't know. We weren't going into it to play, like, competitively or anything like that. We just wanted to play and have some fun. Because it's Star Wars and have some fun, play the stories. Uh get a whole bunch of extra content because I got the deluxe edition here because it came with the console. Um, I haven't actually beaten the story yet, but I have went back to it recently, and they've done a lot to this game. It's free right now on PSN, so if you want to get it, de I definitely recommend playing this, giving this game a try. If you're one of those people that did not want to give it a try, I do recommend this. And also, I, I want to give EA less flack now because I don't actually own this game. This is a friend of mine's game, uh, Jedi Fallen Order. Fantastic. I bought it on PC, uh, but I'm playing through it a uh, second time on PS4 to get the trophies. Um, fantastic game. Like, seriously amazing. And I'm, lo I'm looking forward to Squadrons. That's probably one of the last games I'm getting on PS4. Um, because that looks fantastic. Like, EA is knocking it out of the park with Star Wars now after the... 
after the backlash of Battlefront, I feel like they really need to focus on those single player Star Wars adventures because that's that's what that's what people like in Star Wars. Like people did really like the Battlefront series, but they kind of turned the Battlefront series into the um into the Battlefield series, and that's not really what Star Wars fans want. They wanted their quirky um Battlefront series. This is actually a very recent game. We got uh, Persona Five Royal. Um. This is, I never really played base Persona 5, um, I got this off of my friend, uh, pretty much when this was, when this came out, it was around the quarantine time, so EB Games was still closed at Walmart was, well, Walmart was open. Um, my friend had the special edition pre-ordered, uh, and so he actually canceled it and, uh, switched to digital, so my other friend was like, oh, I'll take up that special edition, actually. So he got the special edition, but he had to wait for EB Games to open. So until then, he went and bought this copy, and then sold it to me for half the price afterwards. So I got this game for 40 bucks, and it's still going for full retail. Uh, to my knowledge, it actually only comes in, like, a Steelbook edition. So I got a cool, like, Steelbook edition out of it, so that's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, I've only played about maybe three hours. I'm in the first dungeon right now, still. Um... I need to play more of that. That's definitely on my backlog. There's just other things that I'm playing, like uh, doing a second playthrough of Star Wars, or I actually want to buy this game myself. Resident Evil 2, I'm doing a playthrough of that right now um, with my friend Jason. Uh, a lot of fun, actually. I want to get a copy of this for myself, my own collection. That game is actually pretty damn good. Uh, this is actually very recent. I haven't even put this game in. I literally got this maybe two weeks ago, and that's Bloodstained uh, Ritual of the Night. A friend of mine kept talking about it when I was streaming, um, so I was like, okay, I'll definitely have to give this game a try. This looks like a lot of fun. It's Metroidvania style. It's literally, actually, no, not even really Metroidvania style. It's literally like a Castlevania ripoff type thing. Uh, it looks a lot like Symphony of the Night. I definitely want to try this game out. Um, looks a lot of fun. I got the PS4 version because I heard the Switch version was terrible, so I went for the PS4 version. Also, I mean, hey, trophies. Uh, also, most of the time, unless it's a Nintendo exclusive, most of the time I'm going to get games on PS4 because I just prefer to play on my PS4 because with my Switch, my Joy-Cons are a little fucked up, so, yeah. Yeah, now we're in my backlog territory. Actually, let's, let's go to this first. We got Final Fantasy, Dissidia, NT. Very disappointed when this game came out. I was actually looking forward to it a lot because Ramza was going to be put into it finally. It's a port of the, uh, um, it's a port of the arcade version of Final Fantasy Dissidia. And it was kind of just more of Dissidia, to be honest. I don't know what I was looking forward to, but I don't, I don't know. I did not enjoy that too much. It was kind of just the same on PS4, but it kind of felt like it was missing something. It kind of felt like they could have put more into it made it more enjoyable. I was kind of disappointed with this, but I still bought it, paid full price, pre-ordered it, uh, just to play as Ramza, play as my two favorite main characters, Cloud and Ramza. Um, I mean, I just mentioned Cloud, so I should get on to this little game right here. And when I say little, I mean, this is going to be a damn big game when it's finished. Uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake, uh, with one of the only PS4 games that I know of with two bloody discs. Two discs. Now, I bought this game digital on day one because I have a pre-order for the special edition in Alberta, Alberta, Canada, um, that I sadly won't be able to get. Uh, I think uh, my friend of mine was able to find a special edition, but I did not have the money to pay for it um, in a local town to mine, so hopefully I'll be able to go there a little later. Hopefully I'll be able to find me a, a copy of the special edition. If not, for now, I just have the physical Walmart edition with the extra um, art cards uh, that I did decide to open because I wanted to see the inside stuff. Uh, but yeah, I played it digitally. I almost have a platinum. I just have two trophies left. Yeah, left. Um, I kind of just wanted to go to those a little later because I don't want to completely burn myself out of this game because I seriously, I have to say, I have some complaints about it. But holy crap, is this game good. The combat... 10 out of 10 combat. So, so, so good. Uh, the story, it kind of, they kind of ruined it a little bit with the ending. I'll see what happens with it, because they're trying to go in a new direction. They're trying to put some liberties to it. 
apparently they're not going too crazy with it. Uh, said They said that that ending is probably one of the most crazy things about it. They kind of just wanted to spark some, they wanted to spark some talk in the community. And there was a lot of talk in the community after this, after everyone started to beat the game and look at the ending. Seriously, if you've not played this game, if you're a Final Fantasy fan, if you're still kind of skeptical of if you want to play this game, holy crap is this game just so good. So good. A 100% recommendation. I mean, I bought it literally twice at full price, and I'm probably going to buy it again for a third time full price when I find the special edition. When I say full price, I mean it would be, I think, pretty close to 200 Uh, We got Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. I did not go for the special edition of this game. I wanted to, but I did not because I did not want to spend that much money. <laughs> I really wanted to, but yeah, I did not. Uh, I still haven't actually beaten this game yet. Um, I know it's not that long of a game, but this game came out at a real time. Um, I was still in the middle of my work, and I had a new work schedule, and it pretty much made it so... That job made it so I could really not play games, especially with my living condition and everything. That If I had that job while I was living here... It would be way different because I could have easily um, played through these games. I mean, I should realistically have this game done right now because, I mean, it was... It came out before Final Fantasy VII, but I put more hours into Final Fantasy VII than this game. Um, I put a lot of hours into that game. and I st I'm, I'm in the hard mode playthrough, but I'm taking that a little slowly. But yeah, Kakarot, I do recommend this game. A lot of people were kind of iffy in it, uh, didn't know if it was going to be good. I recommend it if you're a Dragon Ball fan. This was the other game I got for 5 bucks when I got Far Cry 4. Uh, God of War. This is on my list of playing. I've not played this game yet. This is not went into my disk drive at all. Um, it is on my backlog. It will be hopefully finished soon. Hope hopefully. There's a lot of other games also. Like literally uh, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. I still want to go back for the Platinum. For Final Fantasy 7. Um, this Persona 5. Uh, sadly, Bloodstained Witcher of the Night will probably be one of those games like this game that would be put on a backlog for a while because I bought this game almost a year ago at this point. Actually, I'm pretty sure I bought this game a year ago. Actually, it's been, this game's been on my backlog for over a year now. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those games, sadly, that just happens when you have a job, when you have to work. You have to prioritize, by, prioritize between brand new games. I didn't even buy this game at retail, so realistically, with my eyes... I try to focus on, if a new game comes out, even if I have a backlog, I'll probably still play the new game. Because, um, <laughs> yeah, the, yeah uh, cheaper games that I bought for cheap, they might just jump onto the backlog. Now, I mean, I paid full price for this also, and it's still on my backlog. This has been out for a year now. A little over a year, actually, why over the year now? Because I, came, I think it came out in January of 2019. Um... Yeah, this is Tales of Vesperia Definitive Edition. I really want to go back and play this, but, um, so... I was playing at my house. I played for about, I think, about 15, 20 hours. And I went to my friend's house because we wanted to play it. And I cloud save transport over to his house. So we played for about five, maybe six hours. And I came back to my house, made sure it transferred from his PS4 to my PS4. Okay, it made sure it went through the cloud saves, did everything that it should be. Okay, it was working perfectly fine. Went back to my PS4, loaded up, I got a corruption notice on the, on the uh, PS4, and it was back to where I was before I played with him, and I was pissed, and I haven't really played it since. Because the thing about that is, in any other game, like a platform or something like that, if you lose, like, I mean, realistically, if you lose five to six hours of a platform, well, that's most likely the whole game, so that's... That's almost not really a big problem. But when you lose five to six hours of like a hundred plus hour game RPG, that's just, that hurts because now you have to go through that whole story part, especially with this game because I don't think this game you can skip cutscenes. You might be able to skip cutscenes, but you can't really skip dialogue and everything like that. Just really hurt. It's a fun game, great game, great definitive edition, great characters. We got, we got, we got my, my dog, my dog Rapide, my favorite character. Just a really good game. It had all the characters from the PS3 version that we never got in North America. Um, I actually don't even remember their names. There's the pirate chick. Um, and then you get to play as uh, Lloyd, I'm pretty sure his name is. The knight. That you gotta... Uh, I think you gotta briefly play with the 360 version. He was just in like one mission. 
No, Lloyd is from Symphonia. What's his name? I forgot his name. I don't know. I haven't played that in a while. It's been over a year. Now this has been... <laughs> when did this come out? I bought this on launch. <laughs> I haven't finished it yet. This has been on my backlog for a while. Uh, this is on my backlog. It's been on for a while. I kind of want to bump it up a little bit just because of the Miles Morales coming out because I kind of want to get that. But I'm not buying that unless this game's beaten. I'm not even buying it. Like, I won't buy it to put it on my backlog because it will probably stay there longer than this has been on there. Like, this has been on there for a while already. I have no excuses for that, to be honest. I have literally zero excuses. I think it was mainly because I wasn't planning on getting it and my friend was dropping the pre-order, so I'm like, no, I'll take it. <laughs> this was very recent, uh, and it's uh, Digimon Cyber Sleuth. I got this for $10 at a pawn shop, so I'm like, heck yeah, I'll jump on that. Even if it goes way down on my backlog, hey, I'll play that. Now, the reason why my backlog keeps growing is because friends of mine let me borrow other games that I, I like. I've beaten this game before. I'm already on my second playthrough of Resi 2. Okay, so let's switch over to PS4 view. Oh, I still have the Barcelona up. Ah, whatever, I'll keep that. Okay. Um, these are all, uh, these are all free titles. So Batman, um, there's Fighter Z. I got Crash Insane Trilogy. It's only 26 bucks right now. I actually recommend getting it if you've not played it. Um, I've beaten one. I haven't actually done two or three yet, so I'm going to be doing those really soon. Uh, World of War was free. Here's Xenoverse 2. I got this on sale a while back. Uh, Final Fantasy 9, uh, Final Fantasy 7, and Final Fantasy 8. These are all the, like, remastered, like, like, um, kind of, they've made them widescreen in HD a little bit. Uh, I have the Platinum for 7. I want to go for the Platinum for 8, and, uh, fuck the Platinum for 9. So that's not happening. Uh, I have 10 and 10 2 right here. I actually forgot that I bought those. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I really hope I didn't pay full price for those. Um, Fire 13 was a PSN game, so I'm not really going to count that. Minecraft Dungeons, I actually almost have the Platinum for that. Um, I think I just have three trophies left. So yeah, that will be pretty soon. We got Minecraft, I have the Platinum for that. Uh, I don't now, I d don't now, that's not English. I don't really ever play it anymore now because uh, I can just play it on PC. Now that I have the Platinum. Uh, Sonic Mania. Um... Really good, really really good. Uh, this was actually a really recent purchase because um, I had mainly I bought it on Switch first, and then I think around the Sonic movie, a whole bunch of Sonic games were going on sale. That's when Sonic Forces, I'm pretty sure, was free. Um, so I bought this game for really cheap, and I'm like, okay, I have it for Switch, PC, and PS4 now. But hey, got Stardew Valley here. I got this for PC and PS4. For PS4, I almost have the Platinum. I'm about, I think I'm 70% through the Platinum. Uh, that's going to be awesome to get. That's a difficult one. Uh, I have 100 plus hours in it. I think I have 120 right now in it. I only started playing that maybe a couple months ago. That's one of the reasons why a lot of games are not finished. <laughs> uh, we got Tetris Ultimate. Uh, it's kind of a bad version of Tetris. I don't really recommend this version of Tetris. If you want a really good version of Tetris, get Tetris Poyo Poyo on Switch. That version is really good. Uh, we got Tojinam All back in the groove. I got the physical version for Switch. I bought this because uh, I wanted to play it at the moment, at the time. Um, we got Uno. We got World of Final Fantasy. Uno, I don't really have to talk about that. We got World of Final Fantasy. This was a recent purchase. I'm guessing around the same time as 10 and 10. Oh, I think so. 10 and 10 2 World of Final Fantasy were all cheaper uh, around the release of Final Fantasy 7. I think even like 7, the original version of 7 and stuff like that were cheaper. So I'm guessing that's when I bought this. Um, I really hope I didn't spend too much on this because I haven't touched it yet. And it won't be touched for a long time. And we also got Yu Gi Oh! Legacy of the Duelist, Link Edition, Link Evolution. Uh, I almost actually have the platinum for this. I think I have two trophies left. So. That would be nice to have. Um, purchased. I'm trying to see if any of these games are... I'm pretty sure I had more uh, actual paid for. Oh, yeah. Uh, Borderlands, the Handsome Jack Collection. I bought this. Um, I keep forgetting that I'm not a Borderlands fan. <laughs> oh, I have Bioshock Infinite? That's a good game. I forgot I had that. Um, Call of Duty Black Ops 3. 
I'm sure saying. Uh, Day of the Tentacle, this was also a game that I bought. Um, really, really good game. I got the platinum for it. I love Day of the Tentacle. I used to play it a long time ago on PC. One of those amazing LucasArts games. Oh, I don't think... I think I just realized you wouldn't have been able to see Borderlands because of my camera. So yeah, Borderlands, Hans the Handsome Jack collection was to the left. Um, any of these other games that would have been... I would have bought... Um, they're not loading for some reason. I don't know why they're not loading. Oh, the Disney Afternoon Collection and Jackbox Party Pack. Uh, I think that would have been everything. Oh, and then Yu-Gi-Oh! Regular Legacy of the Duelist. I don't know why it's not loading. Am I not connected to the internet? I don't think I'm connected to the internet. That makes sense. Okay, but yeah, anyways. Um, yeah, these are the main titles I'm playing right now. Um, but yeah. Thank you guys for watching this video. Um, if you like these videos... If you want to, you can subscribe, you can like them. Uh, hopefully I'll be doing more videos like this, uh, probably more gameplay videos though. But yeah, thank you guys for watching, and until next time.